Welcome to the ARWay developer video. Here we'll explore the advanced developer options within the ARWay Kit SDK sample app. If you haven't seen it yet, watch our previous video for a complete guide to the ARWay platform. The video contains information for getting started, including a section on building the sample app in Unity. This video will cover the following topics, deep linking, branding opportunities, configuring UI elements, multi-language and UI text customization, integration options, and sample app enhancements. When it comes to customizing the AR Way experience through your own app, implementing a deep link is the key. This feature empowers you to seamlessly connect your app through a personalized subdomain, offering users the ability to access the AR scene with just a QR code scan on their mobile devices. Now, the QR codes in AR Way serve a crucial role in initializing and relocalizing users in the AR scene based on the anchor ID. Typically, scanning a QR code takes users to the official ARWay app, but you have the power to redirect users to your own app by creating a custom domain. Setting up this custom subdomain involves hosting three essential files, Apple App Site Association, AssetLinks.json, and Redirection, HTML. In the Creator Portal, you can integrate a custom deep link domain into the QR codes you download. Assigning your custom domain or reverting to default settings is a straightforward process. Navigate to the For Developers page and locate the Deep Link Domain section. Here, you'll find a text input box where you can input your desired custom domain. Enter your chosen domain and click Save to implement the changes. Please note, you must own the domain name that you are creating the custom subdomain for. Remember, when selecting a custom domain, Ensure that the combined characters for the subdomain, main domain, and top-level domain do not exceed 30. Once you hit Save, all QR codes in the ARWay Creator Portal will automatically reflect the new custom domain you've entered. Moving forward, any QR code you download will now point to this personalized domain. However, for existing QR codes, you'll need to re-download and replace them for the redirection to your new custom domain to take effect. It's a seamless process that enhances the integration of your app with the ARWay experience. In the ARWay Kit SDK, you will need to modify the following files. For the Android app, you will modify androidmanifest.xml, and for iOS, you will edit the entitlements file. Make sure this domain link uses the same link as you set initially for the QR codes in the creator portal. After building the project to Xcode, choose your target. In this case, it is Unity iPhone. Access the Capabilities tab, scroll down to Associated Domains, click the Add button, plus, to insert a service domain placeholder, add your domain link, then save your changes and build your app. For Android, modify the file androidmanifest.xml located in the asset slash ARWay kit SDK slash plugin slash Android folder. Open the androidmanifest.xml file in a text editor, locate the deep link URL in the file, and then replace the existing URL with your custom domain. Next, you will need to modify the server-side settings for the deep links. This involves creating three new files, Apple App Site Association for iOS, assetlinks.json for Android, and redirection.html for a general redirect. First, we will start with the iOS file. Create a file named Apple App Site Association, no file extension, with the structure shown on screen. Add your Apple Team ID and Apps Bundle ID to the Apple App Site Association file. Then you can add the file to your server root. As an example, this could appear as anchor.yourdomain.com slash well-known slash Apple App Site Association. For Android, create a new file called assetlinks.json with the same structure that you see on screen. For this file, you will need to add your app package name and the SHA-256 cert fingerprint. The app package name is declared in the player settings. This package name is unique for your app. The SHA-256 fingerprint of your app's signing certificate is required. If you do not have the app published using the Play Store, you can use the following command to generate the fingerprint via the Java key tool. If your app is using Play App Signing, the fingerprint you get from KeyTool might not match what's on users' devices. To check, go to your Play Console, click on Release, then Setup, and finally, App Signing. 
If you're using it, you'll find the correct digital asset links JSON snippet for your app on the same page. Once you've added your package name and the SHA-256 cert fingerprint to the file, you can add the file to your server root anchor .yourdomain.com slash wellknown slash asset links .json. The last file you will need is the redirection.html. This file is used to direct the user to the Apple App Store, Google Play Store, or a fallback URL in case the user is not on a mobile device. In the file shown replace variables Android URL and iOS URL with your App Store links. Then replace non-mobile URL with a fallback link that you wish to direct users towards. For the AR Way app, we direct users to our own website. To achieve the desired behavior where the redirection HTML is fetched, when visiting that subdomain, you need to set up server configuration rules. Keep in mind that the implementation specifics may vary depending on the web server you are using and the server-side scripting language you have at your disposal. The redirection can be achieved through server configuration files or using server-side code to handle the redirection logic. With the updates to the QR codes on the creator portal, SDK adjustments, and server modifications, users will now be directed to your new app when scanning the QR codes. With ARWay, you can customize your app by incorporating your own logos and images. In this section, we'll explore the areas where you can swap out the existing ARWay logos with your personalized ones. Images with the ARWay logo are located in the following areas as shown on screen. Replace these images to eliminate the AR Way branding. They serve various purposes including the app logo, hero image, QR code scanner, and other elements. Edit these images using your preferred image editor to substitute the current AR Way logos. We recommend preparing a 1024 by 1024 pixel image logo for the replacement. Now let's go over where these images are used in the sample app. ARWayLogo.png is used on the dashboard scene on the initial card that is shown on the homepage. ARWayTextPNG is the text used right beside it on the same card. Thumbnail.png is used for the video objects in the AirMap session scene as the thumbnail. QRPrimary.png and QRSecondary.png are used for representations of what the QR codes look like to the users. AccessPointButton.png and AccessPointButtonPressed.png are used for the drift dial indicator. CenterLogo.png is the logo that appears in the center of the drift dial indicator. AirwayLogo512x512.png is used as the app's icon and the default icon for the location pin list. AirwayLogo1024x1024.png is used as a larger version of the app icon. QROverlayPNG is the overlay that appears when scanning an access point. Sample thumbnail.png is used for the default thumbnail for the maps if they have not been set. QR thumbnail sample.png is used for a sample thumbnail for what QR codes look like. When you have your new images ready to add to your app, you can drag and drop them to replace the images in the folders above. Make sure to keep the same name and pixel sizes for the files. After updating these files, you can build your app with your own custom branding. As this app is made with Unity, you can customize the UI even more to suit your needs. For instance, if you wish to alter the dashboard scene by replacing the two images in the top card with just one, you can easily do so in the Unity editor. To begin, navigate to the project window and select the Assets folder. Then, drag and drop your new logo into the Splash folder in the project window. After uploading the logo, change the texture type to Sprite, 2D and UI and the Sprite mode to Single. Click Apply at the bottom. Now go to the Branding folder in the Unity Hierarchy window. Select the Logo Game object and change the source image to the new logo. In this case, delete the second game object name under Branding, as only one logo is needed. Then, adjust the positioning and size of the logo in the Inspector window. When you finish, just save your changes. Another simple change you can make is to modify the background color of the dashboard. In the Hierarchy window, navigate to Dashboard, Canvas, Dashboard Page, and Dashboard BG. In the Inspector window, choose a color that aligns with your branding. With this app, most of the UI content resides in the scene's game objects or prefabs, allowing you to further customize them to meet your needs. 
The AR Way Sample app supports multiple languages through the usage of the Unity Localization Package to configure the localization settings. With this package, the UI text content of the sample app can be modified using the Localizations Package String Table. To do so, the String Table can be exported and modified. For text content, you can export the localization files and re-import with the wording to match your branding. Navigate to Window, Asset Management, Localization Tables. Click the three vertical dots at the top right of the window and select Export CSV. Then select a location to store the CSV and then save. With this exported CSV, remove the text in the languages you do not want to use and change the text to remove mentions of AR Way. Then to re-import the CSV with your changes, navigate to Window Asset Management Localization Tables. Click the three vertical dots at the top right of the window and select Import CSV. Select CSV file to be imported, then it will update the app's text. When importing, make sure that the structure and headers of the CSV file that was exported remains the same. Once imported, check the data in the table collection to ensure that the imported data is correct. After importing the CSV with your edits, you will need to update the addressables once again. Go to Window Asset Management Addressable Groups. Click on Build New Build Default Build Script to update localization strings. And with that, you have updated your app's text. With the ARWay Kit Unity SDK, you can create your own branded app experience that you can customize to fit your unique vision. If you want to use the AR Way Kit SDK on different platforms, our docs page has instructions to help you out. There are guides for integrating the AR Way Kit SDK on iOS Swift, Android Java, Android Kotlin, React Native, and Flutter. With these guides, you can embed the AR Way Kit SDK into your own existing application. For the iOS Swift Quick Start Guide, it shows you step by step how to add AR Way Kit to your app. The guide uses Unity as a library to integrate ARWay into the iOS app. You can follow along using the guide available on the ARWay docs page. In this example, we will assume that you have an empty Swift project to work from. The first thing you would need to do is build the iOS project in Unity to a new folder. Then, open your Xcode project, create a workspace within it, naming it both.exe workspace through the path File New Workspace. Now, let's perform the following steps within this newly created workspace project. Add Swift Unity .xcode proj and Unity iPhone .xcode proj to the workspace at the same level using File, Add, Files to both. Next, incorporate Unity Framework .framework into native iOS app. To achieve this, select the native iOS app target. In the General tab under Frameworks, Libraries, and Embedded Content, click the plus button. Add Unity iPhone slash Unity Framework dot Framework. In the Build Phases tab, remove Unity Framework dot Framework from Link Binary with Libraries. Ensure the data folder becomes part of Unity Framework by adjusting the target membership for the data folder to Unity Framework. Moving on, open info.plist and insert the following lines for the camera, microphone, location, and photo library permissions. Lastly, in the Swift code section, establish a Swift UI view named ContentView.Swift. Within ContentView.Swift, introduce a single button to initiate AR Way. To continue, proceed to update the ViewController.Swift file to align with the provided code. Following that, establish a connection between the Unity SDK and the Swift app. This involves creating a new singleton called Unity.Swift, implementing it with the specified code. Then, Modify the AppDelegate.Swift file to pass the main window reference to Unity. After completing these steps, you should be ready to build and run the project on an iOS device. Keep in mind that running the app requires a physical device. Simulators won't work. With the AR Way Kit Unity SDK, you have the power to tailor your custom app with new features and adjust the user interface. As this sample app is written in Unity, developers can utilize their existing Unity skills to modify the user experience. By modifying the sample app code, you can customize your map visitor's AR experience to fit your needs. Whether you're enhancing navigation, incorporating interactive elements, or refining visual aesthetics, the flexibility of the AR Way Kit Unity SDK empowers you to create a unique and immersive AR journey for your users. Here's a quick showcase of what you can do to enhance your own custom app. 
One option is to add a feature that allows users to instantly initiate turn-by-turn -turn navigation to a location pin after scanning the QR code in the app. The first step is to obtain a value from the location pin that can be referenced. You can choose from the following location pin values, ID, name, description, or notes. In this example, we'll use the notes section located under advanced settings when selecting the location pins. Here, we'll input a value, in this case, the string instant nav, that can be referenced to instantly open the navigation. Next, in the SDK, you can add a new function to save a value to Unity Player Prefs that can be retrieved when opening the R map session scene. In the armaploader.cs file, add the following check for nav2 function to check if there is a value saved in Player Prefs and include the call at around line 106 after the location pins are loaded. From there, if there is a matching value in the notes section of the location pin, it will open the location pin path preview after the QR code is scanned and the map content is loaded. Another thing you can do with the SDK is customize the default arrow for turn-by-turn -turn navigation. The default navigation arrow on the platform is a .glb 3D model that rotates in place. Here is an example of what the default orange arrow looks like. This model is added as an asset to the sample app and can be found in the models folder. The default navigation icon is used for location pin turn-by-turn -turn navigation and is one of the available navigation styles for location pins. This navigation style is displayed to the map visitor when they are navigating to the location pin. For this, you will need an alternative .glb. In this example, we will be using a 3D model of a dolphin. Rename your model to arrownew.glb. The reason for naming it this way is that it replaces the existing Arrow 3D model file. To replace the current model, swap out your new arrownew.glb file with the one in the models folder. Now when you build the sample app, the default arrow will be replaced with your 3D model. If your chosen 3D model has an animation, switch the animation from Mechanum to Legacy in the inspector window. One thing you may notice is that the scale, rotation, and positioning of your new 3D model may appear off. These settings can be adjusted from the air map session scene. First, switch to the AR map session scene, then navigate to the location pin arrow object from the hierarchy. When you have the location pin arrow selected, you can modify the transform settings of the 3D model. After adding the new model, you may notice that a background for the shaded semicircle still appears at the bottom of the screen. To remove the semicircle, open the RMAP session scene and select the arrow background game object from the hierarchy. Then, in the inspector window, uncheck the sprite renderer on the game object to keep it hidden. For a quick preview of these changes, enter play mode in the Unity editor and ensure the 3D model is visible. To do this, click the play icon at the top center of the screen and choose the location pin arrow from the hierarchy. From there, Toggle the arrow's visibility by clicking the checkbox to the left of the game object name in the inspector window. And with that, you've gone through the AR Way Advanced Developer Options video. If you ever need to make further adjustments or delve into advanced features, remember, you can visit our website for more information. Now, go ahead, launch your app, and let your AR experience shine. Happy exploring!